In this video, I'll be testing out two new accessories for improving the slicing of thin segmented disc using the AccuSlice system on the bandsaw. Both of these concepts were designed using the Fusion 360 software and printing out of these accessories using the Bamboo 3D printer. I first redesigned the bandsaw table insert by narrowing the bandsaw blade kerf on the insert and also designing a ramp on the table insert. This ramp will enable the thin segmented disc to fall away from the bandsaw blade during the slicing operation and not getting jammed up against the bandsaw blade. The second design was a larger ramp to enable the slice segment rings to fall away from the bandsaw blade during the slicing operations. This accessory can also be used to slice longer boards. I redesigned a new bandsaw table insert using the Fusion 360 software. The bandsaw table insert was designed to the same basic dimensions as the original insert and included vent holes for sawdust collection. I made three changes to the bandsaw table insert design. I first of all reduced the width of the bandsaw blade slot from about a quarter inch down to 0 .060 inch, in over 60 thousandths of an inch. This thinner groove fits very close to the bandsaw blade and prevents thin slices from getting trapped between the bandsaw blade and the edges of this insert. I also added a shallow V-shaped groove to the left side of the bandsaw blade slot. This groove was 0.15 inches deep by about 3 quarter inches wide. This V-shaped groove will enable the thin sliced segments to fall to the left side of the bandsaw blade and prevent these newly sliced segments from getting chewed up by the bandsaw blade. The bottom of the V-shaped groove almost cut through the entire thickness of the bandsaw table insert. Therefore I made the table insert 0 0.30 inches thicker than the original bandsaw table insert. However, in order for the bandsaw table insert to still fit flush with the top of the bandsaw table, I recessed this additional 0.3 inches thickness inward from the outside diameter of the insert as shown here. This redesigned bandsaw table insert was then printed out using my Bamboo 3D printer. In this video, I'll be designing and producing some new bandsaw table inserts from a bandsaw to solve some problems I've been encountering using the standard inserts that came with the bandsaw. This is my Hammer Model 4400 bandsaw, and this is the standard insert that came with the bandsaw. It has a very wide opening, over a quarter inch wide, and I encountered two problems with this wide opening. First of all, I was cutting some small segments, some segments that sometimes get caught in here and get jammed against the bandsaw blade. The other issue is when I was cutting some thin slices, same thing. I'd be cutting off my slices, and they get jammed down here against the bandsaw blade. So I made my first insert, and that was just a standard plate, and I just narrowed the gap to a very small gap, just small enough to fit around the blade. And that's all the problem for the most part. These uh, pieces won't you know, get jammed in there now, and these uh, thin discs don't get jammed in there either, so that solved that problem. So the next thing that occurred was when I was using this, and sometimes I cut a piece off, not so much a thin one, but a thicker piece like this, every now and then it would, it would just sit like this and then get jammed against the bandsaw blade and start you know, chewing it up. So I needed some way to make sure that these things would drop off to the, uh, to the side. So what I did is I designed a new insert and I put a small taper in here. You can see that in the, uh, in the video. I can show it better with the uh, Fusion 360 software. So now when this goes in here, like this, this one's real tight against the bandsaw blade. And with this bevel, now when I cut a disc off, such as this, and it gets cut off, it should do that, rather than get hung up, you know, and stand up straight like this because of that bevel. I should, I should be able to cut multiple, you know, discs and each one rolling off like that. So that should work. So let me give it a try. Let me put some, uh, a board on here and we'll cut a couple segments and see how it works. So I have a segmented disc here. This is a 36 segmented disc with spacers in between them. And it's about uh, almost two inches in diameter and about two inches thick. And I'll be cutting off some slices about hundred thousand an inch thick. So let me mount this to my system. Now I'm using my, uh, my hammer model 4400 bandsaw with my automated AccuSlice system. Okay, next time I'm going to be cutting 12 segments, hundred thousand an inch thick. And this is being run on my uh, hammer model N4400 bandsaw using my automated AccuSlice system so I can do all uh, 12 segments uh, continuously. Okay, I'm using a half inch wide blade, 10 teeth per inch. 
and I'm cutting forward at 10 inches per minute. This slicing operation is being shown at five times the actual cutting speed for viewing purposes. And as the pieces are sliced on the bandsaw, they hit that groove when they fall off and then tilt off to the side and fall off to the right side of the bandsaw blade. And I am removing the slices after I cut two because I found out that when I cut three or four pieces, uh, the pieces stack on top of one another and tend to get uh, stacked up against the bandsaw blade. And there we just cut 12 segment of disc, 100,000 inch thick. That bevel bandsaw table insert worked nice because as soon as the piece got cut off of the blade, rather than get stuck like this or hung up, it automatically just flopped right over to the side. Before, sometimes it was hanging up straight like this and then it would start jiggling the bandsaw blade would start chewing it up. Uh, but this just flops over real nice. That worked nice. So next I'm cutting a set of uh, two segment of discs. This one has spacer between each of the segments and the next one will be completely with no spacers. So I'll be making two slices off of here. So it'll be two discs, each will be 50,000 an inch thick. So that was my two segment of disc and they're 50,000 inch thick. So next I'll be cutting this solid. And the purpose is I want to put solid piece top and bottom. So I actually need to make four discs from this. And I think I'll make those 50,000 inch thick also. There's my two solid segment discs, 50,000 inch thick. Now what I'm doing, I'm putting this in the middle. This is my segment disc with the spacers in the middle. And so when I have that, then I have a piece with, uh, it looks like a piece with uh, some dots in the center. So that's an image I want to see. This new bandsaw table insert did work uh, much better than the previous uh, bandsaw table insert. But it did have limitations, and the main limitations is if I wanted to cut more than two or three of these segmented discs, they would pile up on top of one another and eventually touch the bandsaw blade. The other limitation is these only work for a round small disc. If I wanted to slice a longer board, obviously it wouldn't work because this bevel is, is indented into the uh, blade insert, which is below the table surface. So I want to try and uh, come up with another idea to uh, overcome both of these shortcomings. And the idea I came up with is a ramp. This ramp is about, uh, about 0.9 inches tall. It's about an inch and a half wide. Has magnets on the bottom that attach to the bandsaw table. An insert here for the bandsaw blade. So this hugs around the bandsaw blade and when the pieces come off now, they should roll off and hopefully I get more than three or four segment of disc. Also because this is a long bevel, I'll be able to slice longer boards. So I just made a system. I mounted it on the bandsaw table here and so we'll give it a try and see how it works. So here's a new ramp installed on the bandsaw blade, and so this should work uh, nicely. When, when a segment disc falls off, it should hit here, fall down like this, two, and hopefully get more than you know three or four segmented discs coming off. I also can use this for slicing longer boards. So let me try some segmented discs first. My always first step is to. Uh, move my segmented disc so it touches the bandsaw blade. And the other change I had to make is this segmented disc now is about an inch off the tabletop. Before I was able to put the segmented disc on right to the bandsaw table, but now I need a, about an inch clearance over this uh, ramp. So that's the one change I had to make. So now I'm set up to cut some discs, 100,000 inch thick. I think I can get 11, maybe 12 uh, segmented discs out of this piece of uh, segmented uh, disc. So let's go and set this up. I have a setup to cut 11, 100,000 inch thick, and it should run continuously on my automated AccuSlice system. 
I am showing a complete sequence of cutting all 11 segments, but again I'm showing this at 5 times the actual cutting speed for viewing purposes. And as the slices are sliced off, you know, they uh, hit that ramp and then tilt off to the side and away from the bandsaw blade. You know, see how far it goes before uh, it uh, gets touched into the bandsaw blade, because eventually they'll stack up and they will touch the bandsaw blade, and then I got to uh, stop and remove some pieces. And that's four pieces. This is slice number seven. And in slice eight, it jammed up against the previous stack disc, so I had to move the pieces. So I got uh, you know, seven discs out of that without any issue, which is much better than, than the previous version. So it is better. But I said they eventually do stack up and they hit the uh, the bandsaw blade and have to be manually moved. Well, that definitely worked much better than the previous version. Uh, I was able to cut, you know, quite a few segments without them getting bunched up. But eventually, after like, you know, five or six, it did start to get bunched up where, you know, one was sitting here and one was sitting here and it got caught up a little bit. So maybe the answer is to make a, a taller ramp, maybe a, a, a wider ramp. Uh, so I'll be playing with that in the future. Maybe I'll make one that goes a full width of the table because I want to be able to cut some longer boards on here. This concludes this video of the new accessories I was testing out for use with my AccuSlice system. Now what I was trying to do was develop some accessories that gave me better cuts when I was slicing these small, thin segment of discs on a bandsaw. And the first change I made was to modify the uh, bandsaw table insert. And I made two changes to this system. First of all, I, I narrowed down the, the gap for the bandsaw blade. Because what was happening before, segment of discs were being cut off and getting trapped between the bandsaw blade and this table insert. By making this uh, slot smaller, that uh, trapping of these segment of discs was eliminated. So that definitely worked better. The second change I made is I put a ramp on this uh, table insert such that when the boards uh, were cut off, instead of getting trapped like this against the bandsaw blade, they fell off to the side. And again, it worked very nice. Uh, the problem was I could only cut two, maybe three segment of discs, and they started to pile up against one another and had to hit the bandsaw blade. So it worked fine, just every now and then, after maybe two or three segment of discs, I had to push the segment of discs away from the bandsaw blade. But that did work pretty well. So then I, my next uh, idea was to make a, a larger ramp. This actually rides above the table on the bandsaw. It raises up uh, almost an inch tall, about an inch and a half, two inches wide, and enables the disc to you know, fall away when they uh, are being cut off. And this actually worked a little bit better. I was able to cut you know, seven or eight uh, segments of disc before they got too close to the bandsaw blade. But it definitely did work much better. And I made a couple of these. I actually made a longer one that went the entire width of the bandsaw table. And I also changed a couple of different angles, but they all worked about the same. It did much better with the angle or the length of the uh, segment that the uh, uh, ramp was. But it did have one disadvantage in that I found that I was using this ramp, the cuts on my segment of disc were a little bit rougher than not using it. And the issue is when I'm not using the, uh, the ramp, my segment of discs are running near the bottom of my segment of disc, and they're riding close to the bandsaw table. But when I was using this ramp, I had to raise them up almost an inch above the bottom of the segment of disc. And I think I saw more vibration because it's further up. I think the further these segment of disc go down, uh, the less vibration you see with the system. So I actually think this might be better. It's a little bit smoother cut. It's not much of a change, but I can definitely feel the difference in the cuts. So in reality, I'll probably stay with uh, my table insert. That definitely worked much better. And it just had the monitor system. And after every... Uh, you know, two or three segment of disc I cut off just to make sure they get moved away from the bandsaw blade. But it definitely worked much better. But if I was cutting some longer boards, I may want to use this, this ramp. 